Rachel's question is, is it possible to patent a board game? Okay, uh, terrific first question. Is it possible to patent a board game? So uh, what I want to start with, and um, and I think we some of uh, our listeners, if they've been here before, a, a great first place to start is the four categories of invention. And a board game certainly qualifies. So I'll give you the short answer is that yes, you, you absolutely can patent a board game, but these are the four categories that every invention has to uh, fulfill. And Gabby, if you want to put uh, these as I write them, I'm trying to keep my writing clear, but that way, if you type them in the chat room, anybody that misses it. So the first type of, of idea uh, that is patentable is a machine. The second is an article of manufacture. It's pretty much any uh, manufactured article. I'll put article of M for, for short, and Gabby will take care of that. The third is a composition of matter. Put composition of M again. And then finally, the fourth category is sometimes called a method, also a process. So what was, um, Alessia, what was the uh, inventor's name that just the first name? Rachel. Rachel. So Rachel, you're, these are the four categories. Uh, a machine, article of manufacture, composition of matter, or a process. So board games obviously are going to be, they're articles of manufacture. If you think of the, the board game, for example, for Monopoly, it's got a card, it's got a board, it's got pieces, maybe dice, maybe whatever else, game pieces, cards, all of these things are articles of manufacture. Uh, if there's something unique about the actual physical components of your game, you can protect it as an article of manufacture. Uh, one example of a game might be when I was growing up, there's this game called uh, Hungry Hungry Hippos. And it was this plastic board that had a bunch of, of, of hippo heads and a ball. And you would press down on a lever, the hippo would go out and grab the ball. That's not a board game per se. That's, that's also, or it could be considered a, a board style game. But that you would protect as an article of manufacture because of how unique that was, how different it was. If your game is using pieces and components that are not that unique, like maybe you have a game that you've developed, a board game that has, uh, and, I'll, what, and I'll use this as a, I'm gonna leave this up because we may refer to this later on. So. The four categories of inventions. So those are going to be critical. So I'll leave that up in the back. Uh, say you have a board game, and your board game has, I guess, a, a path that that you have to follow. And this is where you start. And whoever gets here first wins. And you have different, obviously, different steps along the way. So that in itself. There is nothing particularly unique about the article of manufacture. And a board game like this, you've got pieces, like of course, assume all of this is a, is a, a board. So you've got different pieces, uh, whatever they're, they're shaped like. Um, and you've got a board, you've got spaces. There is nothing unique on, in the process in this board game from an article of manufacturer standpoint this isn't like hungry hungry hippos where you've got levers and gears and hippo heads that pop out uh this would not be protectable as an article of manufacture however if you've created a unique set of rules uh a unique set of steps in order to play this game so you've got let's say uh step one and then step two step three, and so on and so forth. You've got this unique series of steps. Now, you might be able to protect your board game, not as an article of manufacture. And of course, it's not a machine. So I just want to make that clear. There's uh, uh, plenty of examples. You don't have to think too hard to think of a machine that's patentable. Uh, uh, an, a, an engine that runs on water would be an example of a machine. Uh, it could also be an article of manufacture. Those are protectable as patents. Uh, but this 
particular board game could be protected as a process. Um, I'll move over on this side so you can read the board. And of course, uh, Gabby may have put these four categories in the chat box. You have, if you have a new idea, it absolutely has to fit into one of these four categories. So the, it would be a process if the unique steps are different. If there's something about your game that is so unique that it's actually the pieces, the board, the, the physical components that you can hold, if those you think are unique enough, then you could protect uh, the board game as an article of manufacture. So terrific question, Rachel. Um, if you wanted to find out about your specific uh, board game, uh, there's no charge for an initial consultation and Gabby can put our phone number on. So call our office. Uh, we'd be happy to take a look at what you have confirm that it's patentable subject matter and then uh and then we can proceed from there but yes i wouldn't knock your idea because it's a board game and you might be thinking that that patents are for highly complicated uh subject matter and nothing could be further from the truth i mean a patent is for something that's uh new useful and non-obvious uh so it doesn't necessarily complexity is not one of the requirements Thank you.